I think it's easily the most simplest machine we've ever operated. Yep. Yeah. On a uh, maintenance basis, it's easy to maintain, it's easy to service, and reasonably easy to set up. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's like a lot of machines, it's got the basic principles here, and if you understand that, it, it, it's quite easy to set and operate, but it's just so simple in its, in its layout and design that it makes it easier than the standard type of machine I've operated. Yeah, no, well, you've got two 10 hour greasers, like there'd be probably eight or nine of those, and some of them are in clusters, and some of them are on your variators and that sort of thing, which are really accessible. And then, um, yeah, just generally walk around, and with having a cleaning fan system that it's got, it stays very clean anyway, it's very, very limited blowing down, as I've got. Um, yeah, it does stay very clean. You put 100 hours on it this year, how many times did you clean the air filter? Twice. Twice, I think it was. But very many. Very <coughs> you didn't have to do that. Yeah. 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 When you did blow it out, there wasn't much coming out of it? No. Yeah. No. Well, more habit than that, was Yeah. 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 The radiator, we haven't blown it out in 100 hours. So around the engine bay, that easy, easily accessible? Very yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. No, look, it's certainly accessible, and um, it was the way it's designed, it keeps itself fairly clean. Yeah. Very quiet. Yeah. And um, very smooth. Like being the seven cylinder, very smooth. And, yeah. Um, the you don't get the diesel rattle like you get in most days. Like having an odd cylinder, it's just smooth. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That lugs well. Really hangs on. Yeah. Hangs Does on it? Yeah. To the last minute. Yeah. Mm. Uh, certainly it won't. Like we've loaded it up pretty extreme at times, and it won't die. Mm. Yeah. Had to go. Fuel. We thought the fuel was quite good. Typically, we're sort of somewhere between 50 and 70 litres an hour, I suppose. Yep. Which, 460 or 80 horsepower, it's pretty good effort, I thought. And that'd be probably 65 to 80% engine load. Yep. Yeah. So it's quick. Yeah. It's very quick to unload, yeah, and smooth. Like it's a very smooth run run auger. Yep. It doesn't rattle and the whole machine doesn't shake. Yep. So Well it's a full grain tank in probably what, under two minutes probably. So yeah. or about two minutes yeah. already. So yeah. it doesn't take long. Yeah. Probably That's the worst thing is if you're not aimed up correctly, you have a fair mess. It's <laughs> pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> well the first part of eleven tons in two minutes. Yep. So fair flow. Mm. Sure, sure. The cabin yeah, is, is easy to operate. I mean, it, it's quite quite good to operate in that sense. I mean, it's like a lot of other machines. It's got it's hydrostatic and it's controls on the hydrostatic mm. control. Mm. One of the things that I really like about it is the throttle control. It's got yeah. a little little knob on it which you just yeah. turn, and it's sort of an infinite speed, and you just wind it up to the maximum setting, and yeah, it's really worked well. And, uh, the two-speed hydro is a fantastic idea. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just having that extra 4Ks up your sleeve when you're travelling across the paddocks, brand idea. Mm, you've got to split every gear, yeah. Yeah. which is worked really well. Yep. As well, towing 40 foot front down the road, you very rarely feel the bump wow. that way. Like it, it is very smooth. Right yeah. in the paddock? Very good, yeah, very smooth in the paddock. Yeah. It was noticeable on the road though, wasn't it? Yeah, really, there's a lot of machines that rough. And just pull out the gate and it's just magic on the road. It doesn't wander, it sits there, it really does ride down the road. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. Yeah. 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 You got a couple of switches down by your rear wheel, you flick oh. them, and that'll turn all the lights on on your lift up panels. Yeah. Uh, they go well. Yeah. So, no, all that, yeah, it seems pretty well thought out. Found a few in there. Did you? Yeah. Where's the stone trap at the back of the feeder heads? Yeah. yeah, top of the feeder heads. Yeah. In the top? Yeah, right yeah. at the top. And um, no, it worked well. Yeah. yeah. We pulled uh, several you know, trigger ball size, yeah. a bit bigger stones out of it. Yeah. Probably some other limit, right? Mm. Yeah. If that happens to go through, you've still got that concave protection on your radar. 
it's like a mm. spring loaded thing on your rotor, so if you do shove something through it that's too big, yeah. your rotor will come, uh, your coin cable will come down on the pressure. Yeah, you know, we played around the concave quite a bit, and, um, and they're very easy to change, and they're sort of got a weight that you can yeah. manage, they're probably uh, 10 or 15 kilos yeah. maybe. They're not, but, not sort of man killers like you know, previous concaves are, where they go from one side to the other, yeah. and they go halfway, and the other one's fit into the other side. We, we can change a concave, we generally do each side, but you know, it would probably take you five minutes or so mm. to, yep. to do a section. Yep. Only two bolts in it, and just unbolt those and swap it around. And the other thing we've done is at the moment we're running um, a course and a fine, and we're running the three courses down one side and three fines. Yeah, three fine and and four courses. Yeah. So you can swap, mix and match. Okay. The cleaning system is very good. Yeah. It, you know, delivered a pretty good sample. I mean, most of our screenings and all, you know, it probably wasn't a bad year for screenings, but yeah. You know, Probably under two percent most of the years. So <clears throat> that's the thing that really appealed to us. It's just very, very simple. Well, with, with simple, you come with accessibility. Like it's very mm. easy to get at things on the machine. But yeah, mm. uh, but that's your narrow chain. It's got what two chains? I think. Yeah. Two chains. Yeah. Two elevator chains. Yeah. 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 Just your normal type chains. I think two chains on it. Thirteen bolts or something. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. And they're all, you could change any one of them fairly quickly. Yeah. So what if you I think so. I think it's been well yes. and designed and yeah, well finished. Yeah. Mm. Quality components in it. Mm. Mm. Good bearings, big bearings. Mm. Yep. Yeah. It's it's not lightly built, put it that way. Mm. Yeah. You know, everything in it's sort of built to last a fair while. Yep. So, the other thing that impresses is the quality of components, like you know, fabric bearings and yeah. everything's yeah. like good quality components. Yeah. Yeah. So, should last. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was brilliant. Yeah. 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 Well, it was running on auto everything there towards the end, so it was auto tilt, auto height control, so I'd try and maintain the same height across the paddock. Yeah. And uh, it worked fantastic in that. Yeah. yeah. So, be good in um, like melon holes and yeah. like undulating ground, I reckon that's yeah. the system would be really good. Yeah. So it was sharp if the machine dropped into something that it's oh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it could work that well. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can make something that's, you know, what would you say, un fairly undulating country look like a billiard table at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like the harvesting jobs is smooth. Yeah. So. Mm. Average hour, you'd be probably 40, 45 ton, mm. and then if you really push it, 55, 60 ton. Like, most rotaries chew it up to dust, and this you still had lengths of straw there that you could bail. We did bail well, some. It was bail. It yeah. was bail. And the straw kit that was just fitted on the back still allows you to spread your char and keep your straw in a rope. Okay. Um, and it was quite easy to put on. Yeah. So it was all of about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. If that. Yeah. Yeah. And worked quite well. Mm. So okay. You could put it in a nice neat row or you could wide row, whatever you want. There's no way. Especially only taking the paint off and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So. And you know, some of them have been in there virtually about 100 right out. So, yeah. you know, they haven't uh, worn at all, which has mm. been good. So many ton of grains are put through it this year. Yeah, I'd just say that. Oh, two, three thousand, ten, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. You'd reckon that'd tell a little bit of wear somewhere, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, he would have thought so. I mean, the paint's cold, but mm. yeah, nothing else. So, yeah. If you're in the market for a new machine, would you buy it? Oh, I think it would, yeah. I think that is bad. I mean, if it wasn't near the top of your list, it would want to be. Yeah. Yeah.